All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, current gen. You guys have been waiting on it. This is the best lockdown defender build on current gen, bar none. And, and, and you guys are going to make you the most versatile too, man. So if you don't do anything else, make sure y'all like the video because every time you like the video, it helps us get to that oh-so-coveted 100K. We've been waiting 12 years on this, man. Let's get it. We're going to get it this year because we're pumping out the content and we're doing everything that we got to do every day, man. So without further ado, this is the bill, man. We're going to go through everything and we're just going to go through it like this. Uh, this is my, this is the bill point guard right-handed you can make him left-handed whatever if you go with shooting guards you get a couple more attributes man but I, I didn't even see where it was really where i'm even really put them joints man but you know it is what it is check it out we're going with the green and red pie chart now i know that you can go with the majority red pie chart right and be and still be able to shoot but to me it's not gonna help you out really any because i mean it's only plus two in a couple of categories and we can make those up anyway so if you're gonna go this, you might as well go this. Have that 83 point shot from the jump. And then you get some more badges and stuff like that, man. So that's what I decided to go with. The other one, you're gonna have like a 56 three ball. You probably can't even really shoot it all unless you blast open. But I'll explain later why we're doing this. Going to pure speed, pie chart. I've tried going with speed and strength. It sucks. I've tried going with all the other stuff, man. Speed and vertical and all that. It, it just ain't nothing, nothing. There's no substitute for speed, man. And you got a 71 vertical here where you have an 83 vertical. Whatever, man. We're going with pure speed because speed kills. That's just all to it. We we know you can't keep up with people without speed. Driving dunk, we're maxing that out. We're maxing out this. We're maxing out that. We're maxing out that uh, free throw because we want the badges. I think I can't even get the badges or something like that. And then we maxing out. Uh, hold on. I think we ended up maxing this out. And then we did like a 71 free throw. No, 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 no. We maxed that out. And then we did like 71 post control because I think that's just what I had. You can really put this all the way down until, you know, you put it down to 67, but you're going to see it's not going to really make a difference. Pass accuracy, we're going to put that all the way up to the top. Uh, ball handling, we're putting that all the way up to the top. Interior defense, to the top. Like, you can just max out the rest of these joints, man. Max everything else out because really you're, you're not, you, you don't have anything. Now you got four points left. And so that's why... I put them in post control. Uh, if you don't want to put them in post control, put them joints in drive and layup and get your drive and layup up to 54 or something. And then, you know, or, or 50, 51, you know, put it there and then put the rest of it here. You can do whatever you really want to with this. There's really nowhere else to put these attributes. Like, like where am I going to put them? Put it on shot close. Really don't even care about that. So if you want to put it on drive and layup so you can have a 55 or something like that, man, be my guest. Um, but the whole thing is, these are the badges that you get. Uh, or, or heck, heck, you can come down here. I don't think you're going to get any more badges by doing it. But, you know, you can pull this down to 71 and put, put these on post control. But you're not going to get any more badges. Might as well do this drive and lay up and put that down, max that out. And then just go from there. At any rate, you're going to have, at the end of all of this, you're going to have really good stats. The only person that's going to have more perimeter defense than you is gonna be a pure lock or something like that. But that pure lock ain't gonna be half as versatile because he's a complete liability in the corner. Some of those guys can shoot, most of them can't. But this is what I'm saying. I would rather be something like you really get can you really guard anybody in this game anyway? Everybody got a goal unpluckable. And you if if they're really good, you gotta double team them anyway and just give up the slip or what have you. So I would rather be an option for my point guard on offense, a viable option, and help him out on offense and relieve some of that pressure so that it can always be like, well, we're going to get threes, and if we have to get in a situation where we just got to give up that slip over and over and give up twos, then that's what we're going to do. But I'm always a viable option because so they can't leave me open. And so that's 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 the way I look at it. Body shape defined. All right, here we go with the secret sauce. You're going to be 6'5", man. You can be 6'3", 6'2", whatever. I'm going 6'5". You go 6'6", six, six, you're going to lose some, some uh, what you call it, man. So I, I try to, I'm just going to go 6'5". That's going to increase your dunking. Uh, standing dunk, we don't even care about your ball handling. is going to go down a little bit. But, hey, that's, I mean, it is what it is. So you're not going to be able to get, if you want to go 6'4", so when you get those plus four, you can get pro dribble moves, be my guest. I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating on defense right here. So now, 
we still over the 90 threshold and still we got some more rebounding and all that good stuff going six five i went lightest weight not even gonna cap to you because i want to get the speed back that i lost and you actually pick up one point so what i would do is probably go go up in weight until you lose one speed i guess and then come back down so you can go 182 um but i went lightest weight so i could get max acceleration but if you want to kind of balance it out you can go 182 i went 175 just letting y'all know boom wingspan look man i ain't messing with no wingspan i just left it exactly where it was now if you feel like you're you're gonna be able to shoot and you want you know you want to get your steel up and get some stuff on and you can you can max it out and you can be at a 76 three-pointer and then you'll be at an 80 when it's all said and done that's cool me I mean, they don't let me get on interceptions anyway. I just left it even arms, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just left it even arms. Obviously, we're taking the lockdown defender badge or what have you. So we got that. And what that is going to give us is a two-way mid-range facilitator. Kirk Heinrich, I lose the love. And Lonzo Ball, you already know that by that and true and Drew Holiday. Now, the main thing is this. This is gonna be the secret sauces. It's gonna be your badges. Your badges are what's gonna really carry you. So we're gonna max the potential out. Boom, boom, boom. And then this is where you're gonna really shine. Y'all already know the bats that I made famous. Oh, let me turn this fan off. I hope y'all didn't hear that fan throughout the whole video, man. If y'all did, I ain't doing it over, but I love y'all anyway. Slithery! Got that slithery finisher, man. All right, shooting badge is the most important badge in the game right off the nut sack. Sniper. You're gonna put catch. You really probably don't even need catch on Hall of Fame. You definitely need Dead Eye. They got blinders in this game. You're gonna put Dead Eye and blinders on, something like that, and then you're gonna go Hot Zone. Like, that's what I would do. Now, you might not even need blinders like that because they nerfed it, so you could probably put that down. I mean, I don't even need, like, what else do you need, really? Like, you could put on Green Machine, Corner Specialist, Mismatch Expert, Limitless Spot Up. We don't even know if these things work yet. Set Shooter, all that, bro, this is what you need right here, bro. Now you can do this right here and go hot zone on Hall of Fame and do it like that and put catch on Hall of Fame. Hey, you can turn catch off and put on corner because you can. I mean, you know what I'm saying. You can do really whatever you want to with this. I would probably go with that with catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, or I would do do this, you know, something like that. You know, dead eye. I put. I ain't gonna lie. I played 2K20. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I play. You can do this right here if you want to. I played NBA 2K21 current gen the entire the entire time. No blinders. I don't even know if they have blinders, but no dead eye. So then that'll open up all this other stuff. You take good shots, you don't even need dead eye, man. You're gonna you gonna have sometimes where it's gonna be like that. But I ain't got nowhere else to put it. Put put dead eye, you know, somewhere like that. I don't think you need corner specialist if you got hot zones. So you know, maybe you want to do it like that. That's what I would do. Something like that. Bam. All right. Playmaking badges. The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen is you can get Unpluckable on go. You know they buffed Unpluckable here lately. Put Unpluckable on go, you'll never get ripped, ever. All right, now what I got, Floor General. I got Floor General for Brute, and then, you know, well, quick first step. All I, uh, Only thing else I need is, is quick first step, bam. And then, you know, we might put, um, oh yeah, I put Bailout on, bam. I would probably do something like that. Unpluckable Floor General. And, uh, you know, like it's ridiculous because your stats don't even have to reflect anything on here. Or, or I take this guy off, put on Bullet Passer. But in this game, I really don't even need Bullet Passer. So, I mean, I got a lot of versatility with this, man. So I can do it like that. But I will put on Quick First Step and Unpluckable, definitely. And uh, and whatever else, man. I'll probably put on Bullet Passer. You don't even need, nobody don't need no raised attributes in this game. If I'm playing with Roaster, though, I'm definitely putting on Floor General. Last but not least, look, bro, Clamps on Hall of Fame, Minutes on Hall of Fame. You can put this right here. You got Chase Down Artist. Damn, I can get that on Hall of Fame? Wow, did not even know that. All right, I'm not going to use Ball Stripper. We're going to put Intercept on Hall of Fame. Now I got four more of these things, man. Bam, do it like that, something like this right here. Really, ankle braces, you don't even get your, your legs broke, your ankles broke that much. Bro, how, hey, what can I put this on? Can I put this on Hall of Fame? Bro, I can put Rebound Chaser on Hall of Fame on this game right here, bro. Like, look, if, if you want to put Pickpocket on something, you can do that right there. You put Pickpocket on something. I, I'm not, I don't, you don't need Chaser Artists on Hall of Fame. I'll probably put it on Silver. Put Pick, Pick Dodger on that. 
And then, like, you, I really don't need gold rebound chaser, do it. I'm only need Hall of Fame rebound chaser. So I could probably, probably, I could still put that on there. But, uh, no, 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 no. You need Interceptor Hall of Fame, don't you? So, bam. I probably don't even need rebound chaser on there. I would probably want to have my, my, um, I probably want to have my chase down artist a little bit higher. But, bro, you can get Intimidator Hall of Fame, Interceptor Hall of Fame. Maybe, maybe I don't even want Interceptor on Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? So I can put Chase Down Artists on Hall of Fame or whatever. I just feel like you get, like, that's that's where they really give you those steals or whatever. And then I would probably even play with this and put Chase Down on, like, gold or something like that. I feel like you can put it on bronze and just unlock the animations and then you're good. So that's just how I feel about it, man. We don't even know what Menace does, though. So, like, you might not even want to put that on. I'm doing, I'm playing good defense without Menace. So I can probably take that off, put this on Hall of Fame ain't put minutes on one something like that but this is how i would go out there if i'm going out there today i would go out there like like this today i probably wouldn't even put ankle braces on because like i said i haven't got my ankles broken that much but what i will do is i'm gonna i like to go for offensive rebounds sometimes so the higher your rebound chaser the better chance you got of getting that but i would probably if i'm going out there today right now I probably go out there like this and then I would adjust everything accordingly. But I'm pretty sure I don't even need ankle braces on this game for some reason. So I would probably just do that. And that's really your build right there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You can do whatever you want to. And like I said, the biggest thing is you you want to be able to be an offensive option for your guard. And, and like I said, Sue, with uh once we get well, we're not gonna get to the to the ball handling. You can probably drop the arms one, and then you can get to that 80 ball handling. I, I'm not gonna get there. On my last bill, I did do that, but on this one, I didn't. But it really gonna depend on what you wanna do, man. But that's the bill. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be on stream all weekend, uh, grinding this dude, getting him built up. And uh, y'all can see how he works, man. I'm locking people up, and I ain't even got no badges yet. So imagine when I get chased down artists and all these other badges, this dude gonna be a demon. But I'm out of town next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ.